All right, Retro, are you done yet? Seriously, I want to... Oh, hello, everyone. This is Real Nerd, Nerd Fred Hood. And uh, I guess this is what happened, I guess, last time on part one of the double review. Just, just let me review Titans. No, no, let, let me finish. Grimman, Titans, Grimman, Titans. Ah, oh, really, my foot again? Guys, what the hell? Um, hey, Laura. All right, everybody got that? Good. Now, with that being said, I gotta go prepare, because I'm gonna do that live-action smashy thing. Uh, uh, real nerf gun activate. Yeah, see? Oh, I, I could do a detention too, right? Man, I can't believe he's watching more before this freaking last part. Uh, hey everyone, Retro again, doing the intro, and I think, uh, back intro, I guess, uh, for this part of the double review. So, uh, Jason, you done yet? I, I, I need, I need my helmet. I, I need it. Oh. Dude, we told you. You're you're wanted by the law. The minute you have that on, everyone. Oh, I want it. I want. Oh God, he wants everything. I swear. Uh, I'm old man Logan, and you're sure I can stay in this timeline? Yes, Dad, you can stay in this timeline. <laughs> um, family drama side. Uh, come to Jordan Gable. Are you serious? WWE Raw. I mean, it's take this time. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, everyone. This is the real Nerf Red Hood. Uh, technically not wearing the helmet under protest of Retro, because, uh, turns out going back to the Matches Alone gimmick in small town America doesn't really go places. Uh, I guess according to this, uh, video, the description of, like, I think the last couple issues of my, uh, solo run as an outlaw! So, <clears throat> if you, uh, bear with me for a second. Ah, there we go. I can finally talk. My old school armor. <laughs> and by old school, I mean something I had the first, I don't know, two weeks here. So, with the big shocks out of the way, let's just get to what I wanted to talk about. Since the last time I was talking about Titans, uh, not me particularly, but Dick himself. Yeah, I'm just going to cut to, well, episode 11. But before I get to that, there are some bright spots before I change the camera. Nine was pretty good. It was basically a Hawk and Dove origin movie for Hank and, well, Dawn themselves. Um, his brother is actually technically sort of canon, and if that's also the case, he's probably dead pre- or post-crisis. So a lot of pre-New 52 rules were established in a kick-ass series sort of way, so that's pretty cool. So, um, <clears throat> a lot of the penultimate episodes weren't as bad. Uh, Donna's was amazing. She did a really good job. I can't wait to see what that actress has in common. Um, there is also, uh, the trailer for Doom Patrol, so cards that, and with my phone blowing up with possibly more GCP stuff, I'll be right back, hopefully in this form, or, uh, figure form, one last time before the heat of stuff comes, CAUSE I STILL WANT ONE RETRO! That being said, uh, I gotta, I gotta get this stuff ready for the cops. WHERE ARE YOU GOING, JESUS? Okay, I may have lost the cops, I might have fixed my- the stupid angle so you can see my haircut. However, you are going to lose the symbol, but since, technically speaking, I'm not supposed to wear this due to, you know, Bruce ripping it off, I guess the final moment of silence, the shirts of the Red Hood and the Outlaws. And of course, mine's always going to be a 21 salute, so just saying that right now. Alright, so, we got all that covered when it comes to all the DC stuff that came out in 2018. No, you really want to know mine and Retro's quick thoughts on Crisis... Actually, what was it? Elseworlds? Well, uh, a couple of bad news. Uh, apparently, his cousin couldn't show up, and no, I wasn't threatening him, even though I probably should have. Just saying, Tim. Yeah, that's one of his cousin's names. I won't say the whole family Retro Tree... Because I still kind of live here, and this is still kind of one of my safe spots. And before any of you come and say, oh, that guess is a safe space, right? No, it doesn't! It's not a safe spot! Please, stupid SAW terms aside, what did I think of episode 11, the season finale of Titan Season 1? Yeah, a couple of questions. Uh, why is it a cliffhanger? Why didn't I see Dick's... You know, Nightwing outfit, and why in the name of all this, Jesus himself, uh, Lazarus Pit Holy, I guess when it comes to me coming back from the Lazarus Pit, um, why was, uh, Batman's shot in exterior and only stunt crew? I mean, I'm happy that they showed off the guys on Instagram, if I could even find it in the description down below, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But, um, no, no speaking roles, nothing, like, come on. 
And this is also my series overview when it comes to the show so far now on the, on the streaming surface. Because best believe, I'm probably going to have to make Retro go to a certain Kiss kiss something something illegal site to watch the new episodes of Young Justice because I died for this show too. That also being said, where's my cameo? I think that aside, uh, the whole episode was just basically a dreamscape from, you know, Dick's point of view. When we're going, we're going back into, you know, Titans in case you haven't noticed here. Yeah, sporadic, I guess, wild shots on my end. Um, he's fine. He, he had an ultimate life, I guess, with this whole dreamscape. He, him and Don are married and stupid in, uh, California. They got a kid. I forgot the kid's name. I think it's John or something, knowing him. Honestly, I probably would name mine after freaking Alfred. I mean, he's a better dad than any of ours. Emperors, so, eh. Bigger escape choosers, I guess. Anyway, uh, I come. Yeah, I'm in this. Awesome, right? No, I get the Oracle treatment. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, it's awesome that I'm alive in this Dreamscape dig. Thank you for that, by the way. But really, wheelchair? Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, and I hate to be that, ooh, but actually, guy, but actually, I kicked Riddler's ass. My first patrol job with Bruce was kicking Riddler's ass. You mean to tell me I slipped in the year and a half you were around and finally got a kid who looks to me like, what, four or five? This dreamscape sucks. What the fuck, Trigon? Honestly, and before anyone of you in the comments say, oh, don't you look like Rageaholic? Yes, and I am homaging him. I like the guy. I like he's got a lot of charisma, unlike me. I understand that. God fucking speed! Indeed, sir. Happy 2019 in advance, if anyone's noticing. This is gonna be my look going on forward. Probably not. Who knows with the haircut. So, yeah, rants is all over the place. The episode itself is actually not bad. It showed what me, Tim, Damien, even Duke... All think of Bruce when he's a little unhinged. Yeah. I think Dick thought of a lot more than, I guess, me, because honestly, I could take him, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, that's kind of an uphill battle, but, nah, I guess. So, I uh, guess covering the episode itself, decent fights and stuff, uh, it's an alternate future if Batman finally lost his mind and killed all the wet villains, and a certain clown one is still alive. Why? Why is he still alive? I know he's just shot an exterior too. Yeah, I know he's also a stunt actor and probably would have been a propped up doll because the look of his dead corpse kind of says it. The joy buzzing loving son of a Joker! Mm. That all said, it's still an okay episode. I would have loved it if it was the penultimate episode. I would have loved it if they actually came together as a team, which was the overarching problem with this season of Titans in general. But, I don't know, hopefully they'll come together and season do Like, they kind of, sort of, should this whole time. Because, I mean, say what you will about Roy's mentor, Green Arrow. His first season had a beginning, middle, and end. A beginning of him coming to the, coming back to his city after five years of being lost on an island. The middle, uh, just patrolling in general. And the end, basically saving his city. And yet, Dick can't do that. Why couldn't the Titans do that? Why couldn't they just come together and do all that? Like... I mean, they don't have a neighboring city yet, normally, and if you read the comics, some of it's New York on the east side, and I think California on, you know, west side. And yes, we have West Coast teens, Teen Titans, West Coast Titans, West Coast Avengers, like, all that kind of stuff if you're in the Marvel end. But you mean to tell me, he, he's founded this team out of pure angst, which just doesn't show, just shows how bad a dick of all people's at it. I can show my angst is fine. Damien is pompous and, pr like, proud of having that kind of angst. Tim, him, Tim and Dick were the only guys that want to drop it like a bad habit, honestly. So, you mean to tell me, not only I have to be the one, the voice of reason to actually understand his angst, which isn't really much, to be honest with you, he's just got dad issues, and I guess abandonment, but that's not also a lot. You were basically garnished to be a really cool Batman, and you said no, because you built up to too many expectations. Again, I get that. You and I get that with Bruce. But at the same time, you mean to tell me that's what you've been thinking the entire season? That you're just going to be that the guy that has one bad day and all that stuff? Like, come on. You're not Joker bad. You're not me bad. You're, you're better than all of us. You were the Robin that should have a decent live action foundation. You're the one that needed the Titan Sword. You're the one that needed... At the time, I guess, Teen Titans go to not drink donkey balls. But you mean to tell me... You're the one that's the most angsty out of all this bull fucking shit. Rance 
is all over the place with spoilers. I highly recommend the series regardless. If you have the streaming service, God be with you. If you want to see this internationally on Netflix, again, God be with you. And uh, bring a Nerf gun and some holy bullets. You're going to need it. And Trigun is finally here, but he's in human form and not his comic obvious form. I get if he does, he'll end the world and stuff, and if Raven, you know, cracks more than a couple of smiles, she'll, you know, be a little over-emotional. I understand that. I knew that when I was watching the uh, 2003 series along with Retro when he was a, a kid and stuff. I know. It's just weird that they're not committing. You finally have your own streaming service. You, have, you finally have your own show. You're producing it, not Warner, not Fox, not me with a crappy budget and a Kickstarter. No, you guys wanted to do it all on your own, and... You made it the most laughably angsty thing that even when Tom McFarlane comes to it for Spawn and go, Wow, we're subtle than that. And that's the idiot who said yes to a movie with Pom Pom freaking Violet, or whatever the hell John Guzano's name is. So yeah, final rating for the season. 3 out of 5. It's bad, but I can put up with it. If Retro was here, 2 out of 5. It needs a hell of a lot more work, to be honest with you. So that all said, our final thoughts... On both our shows, I think when Retro was still freaking out after coming back from uh, Superior, not, not Superior Spider-Man. <laughs> Actually, I might put him on on, on uh, the uh, Outlaws. He might be an, out an Amalgam Outlaw in the making. Who knows? Doc, give me digits. I'm gonna help you out there. Um. So, uh, what was it for? Grid, whatever man thingy anime that he liked. He, it's a ten out of ten because the finale was apparently better than mine. In case you could tell, a five scale system. Yeah, he put it as a 2 out of 5 for Titans in general. So, yeah, that all being said, I'm lenient. But man, you guys got a lot to work on for Season 2. And if this is finally the end cards, go to my beautifully soon-to-be remodded, because I don't think there's that much sealage wise when it comes to the big shot, um, to see the previous video, let alone uh, the previous part of this uh, double review that will be in the uh, cards and go to my wandering hand, I guess, hereish to sub to the channel, follow us on our social medias, and happy 2019 because uh, Retro is not wrong. This is the last review for the year. Spider-Verse will be later this week. God willing, if he can survive the new year. That all being said, take care, subscribe, and face your Really, Jason... I come back from the dead one minute and he's an ass. Oh, wow, you died? Heroes in Crisis. Yeah, so I found them like this before uh, Jason's half of the double review. And throughout that entire tangent about Amalgam... No, Elseworld universes. Yeah, this is weird. He never really got around to talking about my scenes. Yeah, in case you can tell, I liked my actress playing me in that crossover. And I honestly hope I get a sequel series, and unlike my cousin over here, I hope I get on your show. Me included. Yes, on behalf of the Bat family, happy 2019, and happy holidays if this comes out on Christmas itself. Father Christmas, you owe us a Batmobile. No, Damien, I told you to be at the mouse like this one. I am not going to do such a thing, Father. I have to indulge as a child eventually. Yeah, and I'm still judging the fact that we're cold or not. But like they said, happy holidays from all of us. Merry Christmas if this comes out tomorrow on Christmas. With that being said, I gotta go find this asshole. Where the hell are you, Jason?